for seeing for sure with your host Caillou Ninja which is me the one in the background in my grandma's basement oh my gosh I think I said my secret that is not well being kept anyway in the news vaccinated grandparents or older adults of America you are free to once again spoil your grandchildren and drive your kids nuts you are free to see your friends other vaccinated friends and hang out that's right center of center of disease control Do director dr rachel walski in Announce new COVID-19 guidelines for fully vaccinated people. That's great news. In a press conference, she said, we know that people want to get vaccinated so they can get back to doing the things they enjoy with the people they love. There are some activities that fully vaccinated people can begin to resume now in their own homes. That is awesome news. My top to the great part. This is like off the charts good. Yes, this is so good, people. Yes, they're on fire. <laughs> anyway, but she also said everyone, even those who are vaccinated, should continue with all prevention strategies when in public settings. As the science involved and more people get vaccinated, the CDC will continue to provide more guidance to help fully vaccinated people safely resume more activities. For now, they know it's safe for fully vaccinated people to, to visit with other fully vaccinated people indoors without wearing masks or staying six feet apart. Visit the unvaccinated people from one another household indoors without wearing masks or stay six feet apart. If everyone in the other household is at low risk for severe disease, refrain from quarantine and testing if they do not have symptoms of COVID-19 after contract with someone who has COVID-19. A person is considered fully vaccinated for two weeks after receiving the last acquired dose of the vaccine. Although vaccinations are accelerating, CDC estimates that just 9.2% of the U.S. population has been fully vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. And that's not great numbers, I think. But President Biden has directed all states to make all adults eligible for COVID-19 vaccine by May 1st. So you guys better speed this up! Until then, it is important that we continue to follow all public health prevention measures to protect the large number of people who remain unvaccinated. CDC recommends that fully vaccinated people still have to follow the guidelines in public when visiting with unvaccinated people from multiple other households and when other unvaccinated people who are at high risk of getting severely ill from COVID-19. Wear a mask, stay at least six feet from people you do not live with. Avoid medium and large size in-person gatherings. Get tested if experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. Follow CDC and health department travel requirements of uh, recommendations. <laughs> Oh, tell protection is people. Get the time is easy. Follow the CDC and health department travel requirements and follow recommendations. <laughs> recommendations. Recommendations. No, recommendations, Kai. Recommendations. Very good. <laughs> In other news. So last week, I had the honor to do a talk for the Children's Leadership Training Institute, or the CLTI for short, about the power of media. It was awesome. They were really grateful for answering all their questions. I felt grateful too. It made me feel proud. It made me use my voice to do a good thing too. Being the news is one of my greatest talent of using my voice to do good, but this I think this is what it really meant to be. Use my voice to help people, to help people that had problems like me. So this brings me to a subject called
Oh. Can I use Raven? Kids need to be heard. That's right. We also need to be in the know. We need to know what is going on in our communities, state, country, even the world. You can't say we are the future, then hide us in the dark and expect us to fix everything. That's why I do what I do. I told my mom I want to know what's going on. This pandemic had cooped up at home and knowing what, is, what was happening is what helped me get through it. Not knowing is worse. So grown-ups, find an age-appropriate way to tell your kids about the news. Or subscribe to my channel video and let me do all the work. See what I did there? I did that. So see you in two weeks while we drop the next episode. Meanwhile, don't forget to hit up my channel on YouTube to help me reach to a million subscribers on www.youtube.com slash c slash Caillou Ninja. Have a great week, everyone. Stay safe. Wear a mask and don't even ask. Trust me, it's bad. And get your vaccine gone! Go.